Typical example would be I meet someone and I would say, hey, listen, what type of notes do you like? What states do you buy in? What type of LTV do you like to be at? That's loan to value for those of you who may not know. So typically what happens is once I find that data out, I will kind of put them on a list so when I find something that meets their criteria, they'll get it. I used to have this thing in Infusionsoft, where I still have Infusionsoft, but I had a questionnaire um, that I would have my note buyers fill out. What state you buy in, LTV, I would capture all that data. And then when I would put assets out that match that criteria, only those people would receive notes in Ohio, notes in Florida, because that's what they picked that they wanted. I wouldn't send someone who said they like to buy notes in New Jersey and Florida notes in Alabama because it's a waste of time. That's not what they want. So being able to, uh, like the same thing when you wholesale, you can do the same thing in, in the note world when you broker notes, finding out what your buyer likes. Finding out the price point where your buyer is comfortable at, where they bought assets from. And that's just through a series of questions. Hey, um, you know, what type of asset you buy? What price range are you paying? And you have to keep yourself abreast of what's happening in the market because pricing change constantly. So being plugged in to another note broker or a mentor or someone who knows the business, they can always give you the color of the market. Where's the market at? Um, is there a demand? Is there a shortage? Where, where is pricing at for these type of assets? Because assets are priced um, you know, all over the place. If you are in California, which is a hot market, you may pay more. If you are in a different part of the market, it may be less because you know, assets are not selling at.